Are you and your team trying to make sense of the hybrid world by trying to work out how often you need to come to the office, two days a week, three days a week, six days a month? Well, if you're asking those sorts of questions, you're making a big mistake. We should rather be asking, given what needs to be done, under what conditions will we do our best work? You see, the office is a tool not a destination. You shouldn't just go to the office because it exists and it's there. You should go to the office when and if the office is the best tool to do what needs to be done. My name is Graham Codrington and this is what I do for a living. I think about and research the future of work and I've been helping companies for more than two decades think about how the future of work is going to be different. And one of the things we've been talking about for 20 years is virtual, remote, hybrid working. Now just everybody knows it's a conversation we have to have. And this approach of thinking about the office as a tool, not a destination, is a really important and very valuable mindset shift for a lot of people. When I work with my clients and I ask them, what things do make sense to be together physically in the same space with your team? A lot of the answers have got to do with building relationships, making connections, uh, having those informal conversations. Uh, we can always schedule a meeting virtually, but sort of bumping into somebody and asking them an off the cuff question or just catching up. Uh, I think juniors and new joiners uh, in our team would really value being physically in the same location uh, for mentoring and training and development and when you need to do culture work that's a good time to get together. When you've got to give people bad news it's also better to do it face to face and in the room. So there is quite a nice list of things that make sense for us to be in the same physical space and if we have an office that makes sense that we go to the office. But almost everything I've put into that list is not the real work. It's not your to-do list, your task lists, your meetings, your messages. It, it's informal and personal and connection uh, kind of stuff. So if you do go to the office, you should be spending time at the office connecting. Why not have lunch together as a team once a week? Arrive at 11 o'clock, uh, have lunch together. Maybe then get somebody in your team to present something that they've learned, something that's been of interest. If you've got a little bit of budget, bring an external person in to have a conversation that just uplifts and engages and inspires your team. So not a formal training course, but maybe just something that lifts the team, builds a bit of team dynamic. In other words, 80% of the reason to actually get together and be in an office is not to get the work of your job done. It's to do the work of developing your team. It's to do the work of developing your relationships that form the basis of trust and engagement that lead to the work that you do, the resilience that you will need to show, the adaptability that's so important, and even the innovation that needs to flourish. The office is a tool, not a destination. And changing your mindset about that might unlock all sorts of things for you in the future of work. If you'd like some more insights into the future of work, make sure that you follow me at my YouTube channel or connect with myself and our team at Tomorrow Today Global. That's tomorrowtodayglobal.com where you can get all sorts of insights into the future of work.